This is the part one of the DIY Beltier based portable 12 volts DC solar panel or battery powered air conditioner. If you search on the YouTube, you will find so many videos on the Beltier based air conditioner. The things that are common among all these videos are number one, poor heat transfer management, number two, the cold air and hot air both are generated in the same place due to which you will never feel any decrease in the room temperature. In this episode, we will focus on how to make the best heat transferring system for the Peltiers to ensure maximum cooling at temperatures even greater than 35C, which is the normal ambient temperature in Pakistan, India and some other countries during the summer time. And I will also tell you how to keep the hot side and cool side completely isolated. I will explain the whole system using SOLIDWORKS and then I will practically show you how efficiently my designed heat transferring system works. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. To design the most efficient and practical model of the heat transferring system, first I decided to make a 3D model in SOLIDWORKS so that I can best understand the whole process before I start practically making the Peltier based 12 volt battery powered air conditioner. First, I started off with the dimensions of the Peltier. Each Peltier is 40 by 40 mm. I selected a minimum distance of 30 mm. This is not the final distance and can be changed during the practical installation. But at this point, it will help me to decide the approximate length and width of the water tube. I used SolidWorks 2016 for the 3D model designing. If you want to learn SOLIDWORKS designing, then watch my tutorials. I'll provide links in the description. The Peltier based air conditioner 3D models can be downloaded from my website.
the heat transferring tube is ready as you can see it has inlet and outlet openings for the water due to the tutorial time limitation on the back after designing and assembling the other parts as you can see all the four pelters are fixed on the water tube and I also added a heat sink so that more heat can be transferred to ensure maximum cooling as you can see I also changed the position of the outlet opening first this outlet opening was over here due to which this water tube was not able to be fully filled with water and as a result this area had more heat so that's why I decided to shift the outlet opening to the top of the water tube. So when the water enters through the inlet opening, first the tube will get fully filled with water. This way the water absorbs the maximum heat and then leaves the tube through the outlet opening. Now we will connect the aluminum plate with the cold side of the pelters. Now you can see the peltiers are sandwiched between the water tube and the aluminum plate. So now it's time to practically check this and see if it can cool the aluminum plate. All the four filters are powered up using a 12 volt battery and also the water pipe is connected. As you can see one filter is used over here, another one is used over here, the third one is used over here, while the fourth one is not working which later I will replace. Now I will use the computer CPU fan and let's see if we can make this plate cold enough to make some water drops. Now let's get the fan.
This plate is really cool and it's ready for the final installation. In the next video, I will complete the final setup as per the 3D model as you can see on the screen. This pipe will be connected with a 12 volt DC water pump. 12 volt DC water pump will be used to circulate the water. This is the insulating material and these are the two supports. On this side we have two openings for the air. A 12 volt CPU fan will be used to push air into this wooden box. The cold air then will come out through this opening. For the best efficiency I will use two insulated pipes. This whole setup will be placed outside the room while the pipe openings will be inside the room. This way the hot side and cold side will be completely isolated. This 3D model can be downloaded from my website. I will provide a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.